What is next for Umar Namagameda? Fight to destroy Corey Sanhagen for five rounds straight. What is next? From, we should get the winner between Sean O'Malley versus Marab. Now let's say Marab beats Sean O'Malley and goes out to fight Umar Namagameda. Why well, got Umar winning this fight? Now yes, both of the wrestling and grappling is great, but Umar striking is way better and he's way more accurate, which means that Umar can take this fight anywhere and still be in control. The only way Marab wins this fight is if he somehow outclasses Umar with his wrestling and grappling and takes it by decision, which won't happen. Now let's say Sean O'Malley beats Marab and and goes on to fight Umar. Well, I got Umar beating Sean O'Malley. Now, yes, Sean O'Malley is taller, has way more power, and is a way better striker. But Umar just showed that he could deal with taller fighters and with great strikers, even on feet. Umar's wrestling and grappling is also way better. The only way that Sean O'Malley wins this fight is if he catches Umar and somehow knocks him out. Now, here's the thing. At first, I didn't want to see Umar beat Corey Sanhagen because I didn't like the fact that he was ranked, but he never fought a ranked fighter. So I believe that even if he was to beat Corey Sanhagen, he shouldn't be next for the title simply because he needs to fight more ranked fighters in order to qualify to be next for the belt but the fact that he basically controlled this whole entire fight against Corey Sanhagen changes what I believe so I now believe that he does deserve to be next for the title because the fact that he was ranked number 10 going into this fight and the fact that he never fought a ranked fighter he showed that he still deserves to fight at this high level so in the end now that Umar Namagamera beat Corey Sanhagen he will now be taking Corey's place as he will now be the number two ranked bantamweight which I believe that's not it I believe there's bigger things down the road for Umar Namagamera so even if his next fight isn't for the title it isn't over yet because he will at least have the opportunity to have some high level fights against high level fighters fighters like davidson figueredo peter yan and obviously henry cejudo in which he doesn't lose anything if he fights any of those men because again he will only be gaining high level experience